Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this fall inspired look for you guys. I stay more so on the brownie orange golden side with this look and I just smoked at my bottom lash line and did a nice thick wing and I also paired it with a glossy new lip because I couldn't find the color that I originally wanted to use for this look so I really hope you guys like this look and let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows already done and I did them with my NYX eyebrow pencil. I did a review on this pencil so I'll link that video down below so you guys can see how I feel about this brow pencil because you guys are not seeing me draw on my eyebrow so I did my eyebrows with this and I highlighted my brow bone with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in beautiful bronze and espresso the reason why I use these two to highlight my eyebrow is because I can't find my other LA girl concealer in the color chestnut and chestnut is like in between espresso and beautiful bronze so I just mix them together to create chestnut I hope that made sense so now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with both of these colors as well and then I'm going to set that into place with my Sasha buttercup setting powder and I'm using my real technique concealer brush So the reason I set my eyelids after I prime them is just to lock everything into place and give my eyeshadow a smooth base to lay on because if you apply your eyeshadow on top of the concealer it's not set into place and you may have like some skid marks so that's why I set my eyelids first and then go in with my eyeshadow. For my transition color today I'm going to be using three colors but to start off I'm going to use red brick and chrome yellow from MAC and I'm just gonna mix these two together and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just applying this transition color in a circular motion and I'm going to blend it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm taking Brown Script from MAC to start to deepen up my crease. And I'm using my same Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to use that same technique, applying this in circular motions and blending it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. if you don't really have a defined crease what helps me find my crease is looking down so that you can see that little fold and then you'll be able to see your crease and that's where you're going to apply that color to define your crease a little bit more so you can so you can have more of a pronounced crease when I look like this my eye just looks flat but if I look down it's showing me where my crease is. I'm taking Chocolate Tear from Coastal Scent and it's just a brown eyeshadow with a purple undertone. And I'm going to be switching my brushes and the brush that I'm going to use is my Coastal Scent Blending Brush. I'm using that same technique, Circular Motions and I'm going to stop like right here. I want this color to be more on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M441 brush and blend that color out. Moving on to my mobile eyelid, I'm going to take my MAC Mixing Medium and I'm going to lay this on my eyelid with my Sigma E54 and this is going to be a primer for my eyeshadow that I'm going to put on here to make sure it doesn't transfer onto my upper lid.
So the first eyeshadow that I'm going to lay down on my mobile eyelid is this gold color from my Juvia's Place Nubian One palette. And it's very similar to Amber Lights from MAC. And I'm using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to spray it with my Scandinavia Oil Control Primer. Then I'm going to take this copper color right here and place it right behind that gold eyeshadow to help it transition or fade out smoothly. And then I'm going to take Amber Bronze from Coastal Scents and apply this on the outer corner. And then I'm just going to go back in with my Coastal Sense blending brush and blend out my crease. And then we're going to move on to eyeliner. The eyeliner that I'm going to be using is my NYC eyeliner that I get from Target. Before I move on to my eyelashes and falsies, I'm going to clean up this wing because I messed up. You guys probably can't see it, but I can, so I'm about to clean it up and make it sharp. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Flossies Push Up Drama from Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply a couple coats of this mascara so my Flossies have something to sit on because my lashes are on the thin side just like my hair. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my Southern Beauty Lashes. I also have a coupon code for these lashes. I think it's Shani. But if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description box for you guys to get some money off your lashes. Okay, so this is how my eyes are looking so far. And if you're recreating this, this is how our eyes are looking so far. And now we're going to move on to the face. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the Scandinavia oil control primer spray and i'm going to just let this dry and then i'm going to take my la girl pro prep high definition smoothing face primer to fill in my pores and i'm going to apply that to the center of my face to color correct i'm using the la girl pro concealer in espresso And I'm going to blend it out with my pointed foundation brush from Real Technique. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC55. And with this foundation, I like working with one side first and then moving to the next because I feel like the foundation dries a little quicker than my other foundations. So I just want to make sure everything is blended out smoothly. So I'm working with one side at a time and I'm blending this foundation out with my Real Technique Buffer Brush. To highlight, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. And to blend all of this out, I'm using my Real Technique Complexion Sponge, which is clean and damp.
Am I the only one that kind of feels cockeyed when I'm blending my concealer out up under my eyes with a sponge? Like when I go like that. Am I the only one that feels cockeyed? Now I'm gonna set my under eyes in place with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder with that same sponge from Row Technique. And I'm just gonna press this up under my eyes and pat it into place until it disappears. And then I'll take it around my mouth because that area likes to crease. Okay, so lately I have been setting the rest of my face. Like after I set my highlighted areas, I go in with a powder and just set the rest of my face. And I use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 360 Mocha. I don't take too much powder. I just take a little bit and just powder my whole face and then I contour and the brush that I use is the elf complexion brush to contour my face I'm using the true complexion contour palette in medium to deep and I'm gonna take this brown color right here which is almost gone so I need to get another palette because I love this palette and I'm using this contouring brush that I got from ebay that looks just like the nars eda brush i think that's the name of that brush so yeah i'm just gonna go into my cheekbones and pull them back to the surface because doing all that foundation powder color correcting and all that stuff kind of dulls the appearance of my features so i just go back in and bring them back out Pick it up on my forehead and try not to mess up my baby ears but I know I'm going to mess them up so trying not to mess them up doesn't really work because I always have to go back and fix them for blush I'm going to be using my Milani romantic rose blush and it just adds a soft pink color to my cheeks and I like to apply it to my nose for some odd reason and to highlight my cheekbones I'm going to take my glow together gradient matte shimmer bronzer palette from pure Okay, going back to my eyes, I'm going to finish off my bottom lash line. And the first color that I'm going to apply is Red Brick from MAC. And then I'm going to apply Brown Script from MAC. And then that chocolate color from Coastal Scents. To highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm taking the Pure Gradient Matte Shimmer Bronzer that I use as a highlight on my cheekbone and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. To finish my eyes off, I'm just going to apply some mascara to my bottom lash line. And this is the finished look for my eyes. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys will like it. I will make sure to list everything in my description box for you guys that I left out. So make sure you guys check out my description box. And while you're at it, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to comment down below in my comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos from me. And I think that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ever since I left the city.